Hey everyone, well, welcome back to the channel, your go-to destination for all things Apple. Today, we're continuing our iPhone Essentials series with a crucial topic that affects all of us, iPhone storage. Whether you're constantly battling the storage almost full notification, or you just wanna keep your iPhone running smoothly, you're in the right place. So let's dive in. Every iPhone has a fixed amount of storage ranging from about 64 gigabytes to a whopping one terabyte on newer models. But no matter how much you have, managing it efficiently can make a world of difference in how your device performs. So to prevent your iPhone from crashing, apps randomly closing, or not being able to do something as simple as making a phone call, let's take a look and see what's taking up all your storage. To see how your storage is being used, head over to settings. Let's go ahead and open settings. Then scroll down to general. From here, you're going to want to look for iPhone storage. Tap on it. And after a few seconds, you will see a detailed breakdown of what's consuming your space. So you might be wondering, what exactly is taking up all my space? Well, it's not just about apps and photos. Your storage is also being used by the operating system, system files, and cache data. Apps, photos, and videos are the main corporates, but messages and their attachments can also hog your space without you even realizing it. Let's tackle managing your storage. First up, apps. We all have apps that we don't use anymore. To delete an app, simply tap and hold on the app, then tap on remove app, and then tap on delete app. You will get another prompt telling you that deleting the app will also delete any of its data. Just tap on delete again. Now let's navigate back into the settings. And once again, in the iPhone storage section, you will see recommendations right here. Just tap on show all. One of the recommendations you will see is offload unused apps. This will help you clear up some space while maintaining all the documents and data from those particular apps. Just tap on enable and your phone will take care of the rest. You can also keep scrolling down and you will see a breakdown of the apps taking up the most storage. Here you can simply swipe to the left and it'll bring up the offload and delete options. Remember, offloading an app deletes the app but keeps your data. On the other hand, deleting the app deletes everything. You can also tap on them to see if there's any recommendations. Now let's move on to photos and videos. A good idea is to regularly review them and delete what you don't need. A simple trick that I use is deleting duplicates. You can do so by navigating into the Photos app. Let's navigate into the Photos app. From here, we want to tap on Albums, and then we want to scroll down until we see Duplicates. And here you'll have the option to review them one by one, or you can also select and select all, and tap on Merge to merge them all at the same time. Also, don't forget about the recently deleted album. Items here still use storage until they're permanently removed. They will automatically be removed after 30 days, but if you're in need of storage immediately, this is a good place to start. Moving on, iCloud Photos is a game changer for managing photos and videos. By storing your media in iCloud, you can access them from any device and save a ton of space on your iPhone. To do so, let's navigate into settings once again. This time, tap on your name. Then tap on iCloud. And finally, tap on Photos. And then you'll tap on Sync This iPhone. Keep in mind that once you enable this feature, your photos will not be locally stored on your iPhone. They will still look as if they're there, but think of it as streaming your photos as if you were to stream a show on Netflix. Just a heads up, if you're the type of person that likes to print their photos at a kiosk at like Walmart or Walgreens, this option is gonna take a bit more work as you will have to ensure you download your photos from iCloud to your phone before trying to print them out. I'll make another video on understanding how iCloud works. Once it's ready, I'll attach it right up here. Now, for messages. You would be surprised how much space text, especially those with attachments, can take up. It's a good idea to periodically delete conversations you no longer need, and maybe consider enabling auto-delete for older messages in your message settings. To enable auto delete, navigate to settings once again. Now scroll down to messages and here look for keep messages. Tap on it. And here you'll have the option to delete after a year 
or delete after 30 days. I have mine set to a year. I did try to set it for 30 days at one point, but that ended up being a little too short for me. Keep in mind that once you select this option, all your messages that are older than the time frame you select will permanently be deleted. So just make sure you're ready. Here's a few extra tips to keep your storage in check. A good idea is to regularly clear your downloaded folder and offline content from apps like Netflix and Spotify. Another tip is maybe opting for streaming services instead of downloading music and videos. And finally, maybe use cloud services like iCloud Drive or Google Drive for documents and files. And that's a wrap on iPhone storage management. Implementing these tips can help you maximize your storage and keep your iPhone running smoothly. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't hesitate to share your own storage management tips in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more useful guides like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.